Hey you guys, it's it's Jess. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm about to give you guys a legit raw in real nighttime routine. Like it's literally it's 12:57 in the morning. I'm just about to, you know, wrap my hair up for the night. I got my retainers in. Like I'm I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready to go to bed. Um all right, I'm gonna take my retainers out because I know y'all hear this lisp and I'm not about to have y'all roast me. I'm not. You, no. Hell no. Nah. No. So anyways, my hair was in a really nice braid out um, a few days ago and this is like day four and normally it doesn't look like this but I folded on like night number two. I did not put up my hair properly at night and, and this is what it ended up being. I, I have like a few remnants of what used to be a beautiful braid out and, and now it's gone and here we are. I'm just gonna show you guys what I do to my hair at night. Now, I'm gonna be real, I am a lazy natural, just like about 85% of the natural hair community. I don't do this every single night, especially when my hair is in a protective style or in some type of style, but since my hair hasn't been in the past few nights, on, on days that I don't have any hairstyle, I just, you know, I'm lazy. This is what I do. So, so I always start off with splitting my hair right down the middle. And my hair's kind of already down the middle a little bit. But I'm gonna split it down the middle. I'm gonna start off with working in two sections. Now this here is a process you guys have seen me do in almost all of my routine videos because it's just, it's so routine for me to, I always use my main choice growth oil and I'll put it on my scalp and I do my scalp massages. I do this like twice a week. It's helped to promote hair growth in my head so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure I get my edges and then put it all throughout my scalp. And you guys know I'm always using my Groove Hair Massager from Vanity Planet. I use this in like all my videos. You guys know I love this so much. You just tear it on and it starts vibrating. And then it gives you the scalp massage of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And this just stimulates the blood flow so much. I love it so much better than using my hands to do a scalp massage because it, my fingertips don't massage my scalp the way that this does and this vibrates and it feels so good oh my gosh you guys so yeah that's always super key get you a scalp massager of course you know i have a coupon code i'll leave it on the screen so now I'm just gonna detangle my hair a little bit. So I'll split my hair in another section. All right, so I'm gonna start working on this back section. I'm gonna take my spray bottle filled. I only put water in my spray bottle. I don't have any conditioner or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my hair just a little bit. I don't want it to be too damp, but I wanna give it a little bit of moisture, especially on my ends. And then I'm gonna work that in. Then I'm gonna split this into one more section and then I'm gonna detangle my hair. Also, a really quick pro tip, you never wanna detangle your hair when it's dry because that causes breakage. So make sure before you detangle your hair, you add some type of moisture, whether, whether it's a hair lotion or a conditioner or even if it's just water, make sure you do that. Do not detangle on dry hair. Okay, so now to seal in the moisture, and yes, I use my water as my moisture for today. I didn't use a, a hair lotion or anything because my hair isn't extremely dry, and I don't wanna um, overdo it with products. So water is a great source of moisture, so just keep it simple. You can just use water, no big deal. But to seal in my moisture, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use my Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, and even though it's called a hair moisturizer, it's definitely, in oil it does look like this it looks like it's like you know some type of hair lotion or something but once you massage it into your hands it turns into an oil I'm gonna show you right now this is what it looks like and then this is what it looks like in my hand before I massage it but once I do that it's a it's a hair oil so then I'm gonna seal in my moisture with my hair oil
making sure to really baby my ends because it's the oldest part of my hair and also the driest part of my hair and also the bleached part of my hair so my ends are super important I look so greasy right now because my AC just broke and it's real hot in here so <sighs> okay so make sure you get your ends and baby those as much as you can all right so now that I'm done with that this is what my hair looks like. So I'm just going to flat twist this back section down and then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the rest of my hair. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to add a little bit more growth oil to my edges just to kind of thicken them up a little bit because they're looking a little see-through these days. So I'm working on restoring the thickness back up into my edges. So I'm going to lightly just rub that in there. So for the next thing that I'm about to do, and I'm, I'm really excited to share this with you guys because it's something that I used to do when I was relaxed and it helped moisturize my hair so, 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 so much because even when I was relaxed, my hair was so dry. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the, the baggy method or the greenhouse effect method. They're kind of the same, but they're also a little bit different. I'm going to explain it right here. All right, so the baggy method, it focuses on helping the hair retain moisture, which in turn helps it to retain length. It also requires the use of a moisturizer or a conditioner of your choice prior to baggying your hair. In contrast, the greenhouse effect method, it focuses on growth from the scalp and only natural oils or butter may be applied to the hair before putting on a shower cap. So for this method, I kind of mix them both together. So you'll see what I'm about to do in a second. Because I know that I don't know it off the top of my head, but basically, I'm just gonna wrap my hair with a plastic bag. So I'm gonna use my Walmart bag. Um, yes, I, I I shop at Walmart. I don't know. I don't know about y'all. Um, so I'm gonna wrap my hair up with that. Well, y'all see, I'm sweating already. It's gonna be a good old night. So I'm gonna try to do it real tight. So yeah, with this baggy method, I'm gonna sleep in it overnight and just let the heat in there, it's just gonna do its thing and like the moisture, it's gonna get sealed in and it's just gonna be like <laughs> juicy in the morning. So I don't suggest doing this every single night. Too much of anything is never good. So I went back to just doing it twice a week, maybe three times if I'm not feeling super lazy, but definitely no more than that so that I don't overdo it. So I put this over my head and then put my satin cap over my head as well. You don't have to, but I'm going to, just to kind of secure it so it doesn't slide off my head. Put my retainers back in my mouth, and I'm going to sleep. So, <laughs> um, I will be back in the morning to show you guys my morning routine. It's really simple, but I'll just be back to show you guys my hair in the morning. So, good night, you guys. All right, hey guys, so it's the next morning, so, Gonna take this off and remove this bag from my head. So inside the bag, I don't know if you can tell, but it's wet inside the bag from all like the, the condensation. So yeah, my hair is still damp from all the moisture that it acquired from being trapped in the plastic bag all night. So um, I'm gonna give it maybe an hour to air dry and then I will be back to take out the twist and then that'll be the end of my night slash morning routine. So I'm gonna give it some time, I'll be right back. Okay, so I only ended up giving it like um, 30 minutes to air dry. It didn't really need any more than that. So I'm just gonna take out my twist.
My hair now is definitely feeling moisturized. So in the morning, I'll just go ahead and style my hair. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. I'll probably just put it in a high puff or something. Here's a quick length check for you guys. I feel like most of the hair that I trimmed off is now back. Yeah, I did trim about a month ago and all my hair looks, seems to have grown back already. So should I leave my hair like this or should I do a style? I don't know. Like. Oh my gosh, all my hair can't fit in the frame. But anyway, I just did a little simple high mega bun for the boys and the girls out there. So that's just my simple nighttime hair routine. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you tried the greenhouse method or the baggy method, let me know if it works to help um, retain moisture in your hair. And that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.